Family Toolkit. Every family needs to have a way of recognizing their feelings, sharing their feelings, managing their feelings, understanding their family, and problem solving. We have a family toolkit that helps families know how they feel, what they think, and plan what to do. The kid has five tools. First, a feeling thermometer helps children and parents learn to be aware of their feelings. The intensity of feelings varies predictably in different situations. Some adults are always highly anxious when giving a speech. Other adults might be comfortable in giving a speech, but find that asking for a date difficult. Feelings are linked directly to different physical reactions. Some people, when uncomfortable, blush red. Blood rushes to their face and their heart races. Others may tap their foot and all their muscles may tighten. Different feelings linked to different bodily reactions. So a feeling thermometer, remember we talked about the most uncomfortable, 100, to zero, the most comfortable that you could ever feel. And 80 is where you would feel if you see somebody cheating. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. And 60 is where you would feel if you saw somebody cheating. So just notice, you're only at a 60, but you're at an 80. But if you saw somebody being, being beat up on the playground, yours was 95 and yours was only 70. So we have, everybody has their own feeling thermometer and some things are gonna be more upsetting to you than they are to your sister. Families need a variety of different ways to help manage uncomfortable feelings. Squeezing a ball may reduce stress. So one thing you can carry in your pocket, do you ever see tennis players, how they have always have balls in their back pocket? No, they don't usually use them as stress balls. Try this one. Evelyn, you're probably a big, yeah. If you push on that, it'll help the rest of your body channel all your stress into the ball. We need to catch children being good. Tokens are a way to signal children that they are doing something that you like. Tokens are small pieces of construction paper that are accompanied by a compliment or a thank you. How about I give you a token? Thanks. You're being so attentive. You look me right in the eyes. Thank you. All children need to have the ability to act with a variety of responses. Sometimes it is in our best interest to be shy or passive. Sometimes it is useful to be aggressive. Most often, it is good to be assertive. If a child lacks the ability to behave in an aggressive style, they lack a choice. If they needed to get angry or express anger, they could not. Having children shout the alphabet increases the range of choices that a child has. So can you yell the alphabet right now, just A, B, C? Just those three mm -hmm. letters? Yes. Let's hear <laughs> A, B, C! Hey, that's pretty good. That was pretty good. She's good at that, isn't she? How about you? Can you yell the alphabet? A, B, C! <laughs> no, that's also very, very good. No. It is very common for adults to be telling children how they should act. Good children do this, bad children do that. In contrast, we encourage children and adults to have a way of asking for what you want, but also taking responsibility for what you want. Stating your feelings as what you want is a way to reduce and to stop being judgmental, rather than saying, you should do this or you should do that. We encourage children to state what they want as a request. I would like, I would not like. We try to use the I words. We're you saw her cheating, but it made you uncomfortable, right? I was uncomfortable because I try very hard not to cheat. So it's about you. It's not about she was wrong, she has to change, but it's I was really uncomfortable with it. And the agreement we have in our class with the teacher is that we'll let people know. If I see you do it again, I want you to know I'm going to tell the teacher. Okay. Problem solving is putting together how one thinks, feels, and acts in order to solve a problem. Good problem solvers set a goal, generate alternatives, evaluate the costs and benefits of each alternative, and get feedback on the usefulness of each potential choice. What would you be thinking inside your head if you saw somebody get hurt? I would really want to make sure that the teachers knew that that person was hitting them. Okay. So that it could be punished or... Maybe. So you'd want the teacher to know, okay? And Audrey, what would you do? What would you be thinking? I'm thinking that what that person did was wrong because they were hurting and they lied to the teacher and, and the teacher should know that they lied and that they were hurting that person. Okay, so both of you would be very uncomfortable. You're going to be a 60, you're going to be a 75. And both of you would think the number one thing you think of doing is going to the teacher, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's brainstorm.
for just a minute. Do you ever hear the word brainstorming? Yeah. What do you mean? Um, thinking about things that you could do to help. Other things you could do. Okay, what other, what kinds of other things could we do? So telling the teacher is a really good idea. You see somebody getting beat up, what else could you do? You could tell the person who's beating them up that that's wrong. You, you could stand up to that person. You could say stop to the to the bully. Okay, that's another thing. How about you, Audrey? What else well, could you, you do? Tell them that that's wrong and they shouldn't be doing that. And if, if even if they just kept doing that, they would probably get in trouble anyway. So why would they want to do that? Okay, so you're going to tell them that it's wrong. Yeah. Okay. What else could you do, maybe? Well, I think that a group is more powerful than one person, so maybe you That's can a great idea. get other people that saw it happening, and then you could tell them to stop, or you could tell the teacher. So you get people to help you. Uh -huh. So you get other people, like you get your friends to say, hey, Johnny's hitting Susie. Let's go, let's go stop this. Yeah. Or Johnny's hitting Susie. Let's go tell the teacher together. Mm -hmm. So you could get support for yourself. So you get other people to help. That's a great idea. I know something. How about you fall down on the ground and go, ah! And you get everybody's attention. Do you think that would stop the bully? Probably. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so if you yelled down, you fell down on the ground and you started throwing a tantrum, probably you would get everybody's attention. The UCLA Family Commons aims to help families to be who they want to be, to be the best person they can, to have the most well-being. The Family Toolkit provides families a way to understand daily life and to solve challenges in a way that is consistent with their values and goals. We are available at 1221 2nd Street in Santa Monica.